everyone. I am so glad to be here with you. I hope your day has been so far wonderful. And I'm honored to be together with all of you. And um, I'm so grateful for Stacy to inviting me here to, um, to read the Bible verses for today. It's going to be Psalm 119, 73 to 80. But before I, pray, I read the Bible verses, I would love to pray over each one of us and our day and our lives. Our Heavenly Father, we praise you and honor you and glorify you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. We praise you for the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ, on the cross that opened the door wide to your kingdom, Lord, changed us and our destiny from hell to heaven, that we are now your children and brothers and sisters in Christ. We have full access to your throne and we can read your Bible and receive the wisdom, the joy, the peace that surpasses all understanding, the guidance that makes us wiser than our enemies and the path that you provided for us. Help us to be a good tool in your hands to honor you in everything we do and say, and to glorify and magnify you, that others might see Christ in us and stop and ask about the hope that is in us. And we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to read Psalm 119, 73 to 80. I want to show you my Bible, and I want to tell you that my Bible is full of notations, and um, um, I love to, uh, to put those notations because God speaks to me many times. Any, anytime I open the Bible, He speaks to me. So um, I also love when my kids or my grandkids are looking at my Bible and read the notations there, encourages them to. So let's read Psalm 119, 73 to 18. Your hands made me and formed me. Give me understanding to learn your commands. May those who fear you rejoice when they see me, for I have put my hope in your word. I know, O oh Lord, that your laws are righteous, and in faithfulness you have afflicted me. May your unfailing love be my comfort according to your promise to your servant. Let your compassion come to me that I may live for your law, it's my delight. May the arrogant be put to shame for wrongdoing me without cause, but I will meditate on your persons. May those who fear you turn to me those who understand your statue. May my heart be blameless towards your decrees that I may not be put to shame. What a wonderful prayer. In fact, in my, uh, my uh, Bible, it says my life prayer. I uh, um, pray and I hope you to pray that the Lord who uh, made us, who form us, uh, will give us the understanding to learn his commands. And those who fear the Lord will rejoice seeing our way of living. Um, may each one of us say that um, his law is uh, our delight. Um, for some of you, you might know me, I have been friend with Stacy uh, for a long time and she invited me several times on her radio program. But for those who don't know me, I want you to, to read my book, Saving My Assassin, because it's a memoir about what God can do in one life. 
in your life it's important. God created you for uh, an amazing plan and God can do amazing things in, in your life. And I want to encourage you to, to do that. And I want to encourage you to live the life that the God created for each one of us in such a way that others will rejoice seeing us um, there will be Christians and those who don't know the Lord will stop and ask about the hope that is in us. I uh, want to um, acknowledge, uh, many, many of you know, but um, our, our country is going through a hard time right now. And I really believe that, uh, uh, as God said, if my people will humble themselves and turn from their wicked way, pray and seek my face, I will heal them and I will heal the land. And I'm very happy uh, that uh, many of us are doing this. I just want to get to your attention that Franklin Graham um, um, wanted all of us as Christians this coming Sunday and possible all the two Sundays before election to fast and pray um, as much as possible, according to your uh, health situation, whatever age, whatever. But if you want to join us on Sunday, fast and pray for America, that there will be a wonderful and great opportunity. Uh, again, I'm honored to be here in this group and to be encouraged and to encourage everyone that we are under God's wings, that America and each one of us um, and uh, a God who is not surprised by the riots, by uh, elections or anything else, but also God who wants to use us for his glory. So I'm going to say whatever God put in your heart, please do it. If that means like I am doing Wednesday and Saturday, a Facebook live to encourage Christians at 10 o'clock uh, standard time, you might be doing or reading the Bible like this, uh, this group or um, doing something for your community or going and uh, voting uh, whatever or helping others you know to keep the kids or take elderly people to vote or whatever you God put on your hand uh, on your heart and, and mind please do it uh, uh, thank you so much for um, having me in this group. I hope to continue with you because it's very encouraging to be with Christians and to read God's word. Do not uh, remember that God's word is not uh, a, a book like everyone else. It's a book that gives us, it never, never changes because it's God who never changes. It's a book who gives us wisdom, give us joy and peace, directions, and uh, more than anything else, a Savior who died for us. May God bless you, and may your day be a blessing not only to you, but to others. Remember, be the church. Be God's tool in His hands. God bless you, and see you next time. Bye-bye.